And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Arena Undying. We're going to be trying a combo deck with the Undying and Nox Cryo Arena. I was super impressed with this combination um, before. We played against it either yesterday or the day before or something like that. And we got a donation deck to be able to play an Arena deck. And I think this could work out really well having these two together because you do get to the point if you have a... 4455 four, five, The Undying, where you really do kind of lock your opponent out from playing anything else because it's just going to be dying, and, and uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. So that, that's going to be our, our combo. So we need to get The Undying. So the Arena has our strongest ally and weakest enemy strike each other, so we need The Undying to be our strongest ally. We have a lot of allies that are weaker um, in here. Uh, you know, Curse Keeper can turn into the Escaped Abomination, which is bigger. But, you know, like your Warden's Prey, your House Spider, your Blighted Caretaker, those are all going to be weaker than the Undying to begin with. The only things that we have that are stronger are Swain and Leviathan. And Swain-Leviathan is also just a, a, you know, an amazing combo to have in a Noxus deck. So this is just going to be um, kind of like our, our Plan B, you know, with Arena Undying, our Plan A, Swain-Leviathan, our Plan B. It's not too hard to get bigger than Swain, though. Swain only starts at, at 3 power. Um, you know, if we have the Undying die a couple of times, it, it'll get up above that. As far as ways to kill the, uh, other ways to kill the Undying, we have Noct to grow it, we have Noctian Fervor, we have Crumble, um, we have Blighted Caretaker being able to kill it, and then of course Glimpse Beyond as well. We also have the ability to get additional attacks with our Undying with having Katarina in here. Katarina is also a threat we can put out there and attack with, but then also won't be bigger than the Undying because it will bounce back to our hand. So that's kind of cool. Um, as far as leveling up Swain goes and the non-combat damage, that's what our arena is going to do. Each time that they strike and fight, that is dealing non-combat damage. That will level up our Swain. And that's that's kind of our deck. So let's give this a try. A try. All right, we're going to go play five games over in ranked. We're going to play... Um, yeah, we'll see how our, our arena undying attack does. All right, playing against some burn. Playing against a lot of discard burn these days. We'll see if our deck's too slow against discard burn. Hopefully not. I'm going to get rid of these three things. And we'll keep the arena. We're going to look for the undying. We also have... Unspeakable Horror is good. We also have Withering Whales in here. We have two copies of Withering Whales because of this matchup. I do like Crumble. Like Crumbles are way to be able to kill like Jinx or Draven pretty efficiently. But I think we need to look for the undying. Especially with this arena. Yeah, I don't know. The expeditions don't don't usually get as much views. Because uh, expeditions aren't like never stop. it's you know, like whenever you watch constructed like this, you can be like, oh man, that's a cool deck. I wanna I want to play that deck, you go go build that deck. Or you just see like some cool interactions of yeah, like, oh man, those are like some cool cards together, or like the opponent plays these cool cards together. Um you know, maybe want to do something with that, but can't really do that with Expedition. It's pretty difficult to 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 do that. Um, I should not have played the Warden's Prey right there. I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to play Warden's Prey and Unspeakable Horror, kind of. So I was just talking, and yeah, that was, I should not have played that. Um, yeah, that was that was bad because I would rather because they were definitely playing the Draven on turn three because they played the Draven's biggest fan and. So I should have played it here, so then I could have had Unspeakable Horror with um, Nightfall. I want to go home. What should these people do in the yard work when <laughs> get done? Would finish up. It's pretty annoying just to be this loud, like wah, wah, right outside the window. Makes it harder to concentrate and and do everything. Okay, let's see what we got. We got Blighted Caretaker. There you are. Awesome, we'll take a hapless aristocrat. I am planning on challenging the Draven, put it down to one health for our Withering Whale. Yeah, let's just play this thing. Also... So I get to attack for one. Okay. 
Okay, wrote that down. This is going to be a good Wither and Whale plus Unspeakable Horror combo. Withering Whale Swain's pretty nice. Time for the yeah, money. this is just going to work out really well for us. We're in the Nox Cryer arena. Now we're cooking. I guess I just save that. Please, I have connections. And block. In case something weird happens and we want to play it again. I don't really need to block with other things and like turn on whirl. Maybe I should, oh, I guess I shouldn't even be blocking with the whirling death. Yeah, whirling death would have been a problem if they had another Draven in hand, because then they would have leveled up Draven. But then I would have had unspeakable horror to finish off the Dravens. That wouldn't have been that big of a problem. All right, GG's. Yeah, we we got that one. One and have done what is needed. I think spooky karma is spooky karma is difficult to have it be good against the field. It's a it's a control deck that you can have it good against aggro with the different shadow isles and life gain options, but it's going to really struggle against the big decks like War Mother's Call and Aurelian Soul and that kind of stuff. You could also kind of tune it for the War Mother's Call, Aurelian Soul kind of stuff with, you know, Ionia interaction, and you could you could uh, do that, but then you're going to really struggle against aggro. So it's it's the kind of deck that you can have it good. It's going to be really tough to be good against the field. Okay, we're going to have Stalking Shadows help find the Undying. That's That's my goal here. And then have the Undying with Fervors and Arena. That's the goal. The trap is set. The Undying. Or Warden's Prey. Do I want to go Warden's Prey Noxion Fervor? No. <laughs> You want a good shell for Karma that's not Karma Ezreal? Okay, I can help with that. We had Heimerdinger Karma we played not, you know, just a few days ago, and that, that tech felt good. Alright, so no, the Undying. The chains, they never stop! These stories were true! Oh, soil. Yay, the Undying. Gotta create it the hard way with Warden Spray. Not and, ready. and that's why we play Warden Spray instead of some instead of Hapless Aristocrat. <clears throat> Get it the hard way. Spray has been awesome. Better side protect me. Tread carefully. They walked around. Victory requires a sharp blade. So it should still work, you know, like. <clears throat> let's say like frostbite all of my stuff, but I don't think they'll really do that. Like their weakest enemy is still gonna be like a three one. I think not. 
just take that and, and get to the Nox Cryo Arena and play. So let's see, what are we doing here? So obviously we're gonna have Nocturne Fervor, kill my Undying, and and do three damage to something else. Swiftly now. So that's part of our plan. Because they're gonna frostbite the Undying here, so um, then we're gonna do a little bit of blocking. Let's see, here and here. Home. Three damage to the Enraged Yeti. Yeah, I could also kill Ash, but then that's us taking 10 damage. All right, we try taking 10 damage. Remember me. Vengeance could be good. Yeah, good, good to kill that before Trifarian Assessor. A true Felurian welcome. Okay, we go on Leviathan. So I could go. Katarina and Blighted Caretaker. That's six mana. I go Blighted Caretaker. I could go Blighted Caretaker plus Vengeance. Maybe we'll just do that. Blighted Caretaker plus Vengeance. That card's good. I don't know if I want to go Ven. I guess we have to go Vengeance. No, I'm not going to be able to block. From like, how do I how do I not die to open attack? I guess I have to play Katarina this turn, and then Katarina fights the five two. I use another frostbite card. Well, the the cost to cast is ephemeral, so it's going to die. I guess this is my only option. This may be one of our tougher matchups with Frostbite. Blade's Edge doesn't do anything. Or I could just like play it and then they play a 3-1 or a 5-1. Our banner will lead the way. Okay, we got an Endure deck. Mulligan Leviathan, and I don't know. These are like like Blight, like Withering Whale is good against like Blighted Caretaker. Let's get rid of this horror. Look for the Undying. ABR, you definitely need to have more faith. We're we're one and one. We just lost one game, and you're saying our deck's terrible. Like, is there anything that's worse against the undying, like for the undying to face than frostbite? Like, that's the the you know like huge threats in frostbite. Like, that's like our worst possible thing. So like, just because we lose one game doesn't mean our deck's terrible. Come on, have some faith. The chains, they never stop. Just leave me alone. All right, the undying. Oh, hapless aristocrat. Water barrel with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, water barrel. Bring the hype in. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Yes. Elise, where are you? No, 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 no. Our third sub of the day. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, thanks to Elegant bringing that hype and Mafia plot and Kitty Dexterity. Awesome. Thank y'all. We, we shall not rest until all betrays. Alright, Curse Keeper will go with the Glimpse Beyond.
All right, a lot of five mana cards. So we have four mana. <clears throat> Not the best of combinations. What does he want from me? I'm planning on playing Swain first, try to block Callista. We'll have the 4-3 blocking Callista as well. I think I'm planning on doing that next turn. We lost to mid-range Frostbite. You know, Ash, Reckoning, stop. all that kind of stuff. Those cards are great. We have played tons and tons of Warden Sprays. Alright, so I guess they get to level up Callista. I guess we just do it during combat. So the Callista is damaged now, so next turn, you know, we'll have Ravenous Flock be able to kill the Callista. <laughs> why, are we, why do we keep getting Caustic Cask? I don't want that card. They're out there. I'll spot them. I don't want that card. Loyalty to Are they going to be atrocitying? Oh, just glimpse beyond. Unfortunate. There's nothing to fear. Did I keep Arena in my opening hand? I think I did. Now thinking about it, this is actually this has got to be a really bad card for this matchup, right? Because they have they have all the weak enemies that they want to die for their undying. We don't get to fight the strong enemies. Def I think I should have mulliganed the Arena. All right, GG's. A minor setback. Sejuani Gangplank. All right, we've gotten the arena all the time. Now we need to find the Undying more. We've gotten a lot of Warden's Praise in arenas. Come on, opponent. There we go. All right, I'm going to end round. The chains, they never stop. Before they change their mind and play to, you know, I play Warden's Prey, they play a Jagged Butcher and attack. Because also Parlay, you know, like how they're like sitting, they're sitting here like they have a one mana card. So like Parlay is like the other option. I play it that turn one, they Parlay, they get Who's on top of the free the damage. Day? Or here we would have a glimpse beyond. Yay, the undying. That is good. I'm not playing glimpse beyond right here. We'll just pass if they pass. Be nice, nice and patient. Through. 
Alright, now we'll go Glimpspeon. It's definitely going to be killing the Undying this turn, for sure. It was just how did we want to kill it. Alright, we're going to take the pass. Time to make some coin. In range. I've got us covered. Hapless aristocrat. All right, let's have the arena start doing its its thing. Oh, they are. They, they haven't been doing too much. Which is probably good for us. I assume they block. No, oh, maybe not. So I'm kind of I would I'm basically thinking like I'm gonna be vengeancing a champion this turn. Like they have like Gangplank or Sejuani, I go vengeance. A bunch of monkeys. Whoa. Man, I want to take that Leviathan. Yeah, we'll just take Leviathan. Don't really need Curse Keeper when we got all these other little small things. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Vengeance, champions. Carved from the savage cold. No, bad Sejuani. Bad. Now we got plenty of Leviathans. So I'm going to go ahead and just kill their 3-3, and then I should have... <laughs> that don't damage the Undying, darn it. I... Alright, so the Undying is still going to die, so that's good. I was going to have the Undying fight the Powder Monkey, but I guess we get have Hapless Aristocrat fight. Either way, the Undying dies. So I, I want the Undying to die one more time, because I want it to be 6 power, because I want the Undying to be bigger than my Leviathan. Again, Leviathan would make the most sense, but if they're gonna have like these champions, do I want my Leviathan fighting like a, a potentially lit leveled up Gangplank? I wish I had the mana to, you know, have like Blighted Caretaker also. Could just wait. I mean, we have so many Leviathans. Let's just play them. I don't really see how this is gonna go that wrong for us. Like even like Sejuani Frostbite. Uh, the Undying. Doesn't go that wrong for us. Okay. Yeah, we probably need two Vengeance. Vengeance is just so good in this format. We have two Crumbles. It's like we have two Crumbles and one Vengeance. Um... So we do have those. Crumble would be a good one to draw. But yeah, I think we're kind of locking them out. Like they just didn't want to play something that was going to just die to Leviathan. You own what you take. Empire above all. If they play something else. <clears throat> If they play something else like an unspeakable horror, their Nexus and stun Sejuani. They did not play something else. Um, so Sejuani's gonna be leveled up. Fight for your lives. The 
Nothing escapes my watch. They're gonna need to frostbite my team all the time. Artillery barrage! I will break them. Alright, kind of frostbite. GG's. I refuse. Two and two. My conflict and only one way. GG's. Probably. Alright, and the burn deck. This one's probably gonna be more difficult for us than the discard burn because of more Nexus damage. Um Let's mulligan these two. Cool. Take that. Bounty ball knows me nigh. Tar to get And rich. gonna block. Or not. The block that would open up this two two to dying to withering whale. <clears throat> I guess we'll pass. If they don't break, Aha. make the Empire proud. If I do not play Warden's Prey this next turn, then I have the mana for Withering Whale. What does he want from me? Mm, we'll just play it. Yeah, and Undy Dying decks are pretty fun. I like them. Alright, well not. Not rewarded. Definitely not rewarded for playing that Warden's Prey. I was going to say, do we not get any unit that costs two or less mana with all those cards? Uh, 33. Alright, let's draw some Enraged Yetis. Got some Enraged Yetis in the deck that we can draw. Cursed Keeper. That's... Uh, one more mana. So close. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Not a great turn. Where are we at with Swain? Zero. So almost there. We weren't expecting callers. And then we also got Noxion Fervor to also use this turn or save the spell mana. No, we shouldn't let the Powder Monkey block. Pretty good. But no gangplank this turn, so that's nice. At least have that. Mm, that's not nice. No, I think I wanted to save my my spell mana instead of playing a gem.
Alright, we're gonna try this out. Okay, good. No withering whale, so that's good. Swain's at eight. Alright, let's fight this monkey idol. Gotta go with the blow. Please don't grab another noxion fervor. Have all units. We'll figure out how to be able to kill units. We can do that. So that'll level up Swain now 12 out of 12. By my hand with Noxus rise. Hopefully they don't have anything to block Swain. That's that's my that's my hope. They can't block. They can't block it. I mean, they have they have the four three, right? We have the Noxion Fervor to kill the four three. And I'm hoping they don't have anything else to block. So we know they have one unit still. I wish I had one more mana. I could just play Katarina and then Blades Edge and Blades Edge their Nexus and stun this thing, and not have to worry about doing Noxion Fervor stuff. Maybe I don't even Noxion Fervor stuff. Maybe I just attack. Maybe we just attack actually, and then I just use gems and heal the Swain. That's a problem. That's a big, big problem. So we'll fight the powder keg now. Did draw knock they did, did draw noxion forever was absolutely so I'm looking at being at two right now if they go to open attacks best case scenario darn it they played something here that they really wanted to cast and they played that card and then I get to crumble so, should, so playing this playing the Swains costing me yeah, I mean, negative two. I don't know, find what Withering Whale? Oh, wait, we can't find Withering Whale with that card. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, dang. Gangplank. Gangplank's good. That was perfect last couple cards. Gangplank plus Noxion Fervor really punished me for playing the Swain and not holding Crumble up. GG's need to hold up crumble. This is not the end. No, can't can't stun whenever they're in attacking like that. So can't can't stun. And they go to combat. So there we go, two and three. Maybe if I would have played it a little slower and been able to crumble that gangplank. You know, like that. We honestly maybe would have won that game. You know, like we would have had a chance. It all depends on how much more burn they would have drawn if, if I would have find another withering whale, that kind of stuff. Um, still not, not super likely we would have won, but we would have had a chance. Uh, yeah, Ven Vengeance is just amazing. Yeah, we could definitely play more Vengeance. Where, like, maybe, like, not, maybe take out the high, the House Spider for a Vengeance. Yeah, crum Crumble was too slow, right? Like, yeah, if, if the Crumble was a Vengeance, yeah, if just, if, if Crumble was Vengeance, that would have helped a little bit, but not... Not that much. I mean, we would have stayed alive at, like, one life, maybe, if Crumble was Vengeance. No, actually, I think we would have... No, we would have probably been dead, because we would not have been able to knock... We wouldn't have been able to kill their elusive. So I think we were, we were dead if Crumble was just Vengeance. But yeah, this is an awesome Vengeance metagame. Um, we have seen that, like, with, with different decks, playing playing three Vengeance is not too many Vengeance these days. 
Um, but it's hard to find room for, you know, Crumble and Arena and Vengeance, because, like, Crumble and Arena have to kind of be doing what Vengeance is doing. Um, you could just take out Crumble completely and play Vengeances. That's going to make, you know, that's going to hurt a little bit with the Undying. I just did, I just should not have played Swain. That was too greedy. All right, but that's Arena Undying. Pretty cool deck. You get to lock out opponents, um, trying to make Arena work. And I think this, de this deck does a pretty good job of that. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always love seeing those. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.